Well, we have just found out the identity of the man killed last night in Wadsworth. Officers called out for a man with a gun threatening suicide. Shots were fired, and that's when Shannon Sloan was killed. Several questions still remain unanswered. Now at three, Brittany Weir is here with new information she's uncovered in the last couple of hours. Brittany, what could you find out? Dan, I spoke to Wadsworth Police Chief Dan Chafin, and he told me that at this time, he doesn't believe the suspect ever fired his weapon. However, investigators, they're still trying to piece together what exactly happened last night. It all occurred at a home on Durling Drive, and moments after police arrived on scene, there was reports that shots were fired. A quiet night in a usually quiet neighborhood shaken by gunfire Tuesday night. Police received a call from a home on Durling Drive just after 9 p.m. for a man threatening to kill himself in his backyard. The man who we now know is 56-year-old Shannon Sloan had a gun. Shortly after police responded, there was a call over the radio that shots had been fired. Shot fired, shot fired. We need a squad, male multiple gunshot wounds to the chest. Police and EMS tried to save Sloan, but he died from his injuries. Now Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations is handling this case. It's best practice in the state of Ohio that when you have an incident like this, because there does need to be a fair, thorough, and impartial investigation, uh, it makes sense for that investigation not to be done by the Wadsworth Police Department. We know a family member made the initial 911 call. They were not home at the time with Sloan. They were at a neighbor's house. And there are still so many questions with this investigation. The biggest one being, how did Sloan die? Well, we're working to get police body camera footage that can hopefully answer that question. But coming up at four, hear whether there have been incidents at this home before and what the police chief wants the community to know. Live in Wadsworth, Bernie Weir, 19 News.